Hello guys what's up, so I'm back again for another tutorial video. So in this video, I will gonna show you how you can install and set up Flutter on your Visual Studio Code IDE. So if you are interested then keep on watching. But before all that, if you are new to my channel consider to like and subscribe for more videos like this, and also, you can comment down below if you have something that you want me to make a tutorial about. So without further ado, let's start the tutorial. So to install and set up Flutter on your Visual Studio Code IDE, it's actually pretty easy, just follow what I'm gonna do. So for the first step, you will need to download the Flutter SDK, because the Flutter SDK is the main toolkit that contains all the libraries, tools, and commands you'll use to build your Flutter apps, so without it, you won't even be able to run a single Flutter command or start a project. So to download the Flutter SDK, first, I want you to go to your Google Chrome or any web browser on your device. And once you're on your web browser, next, you will need to go to the official website of Flutter, since that's where we will download their SDK. So just search this on your search bar. Make sure to enter this correctly so you will be directed to the website. And after searching, you will now be on the website. So to download the Flutter SDK on this website, first, I want you to click this get started button at the top. And next, I want you to click this install flutter tab at the left side of your screen. And then select install manually. And after that, I want you to scroll down and then you will see this device selection option right here. So just select an option depending on your device. In my case, I'm using a Windows laptop, so this is what I will select. And once you've selected your device, just scroll down and then you will now see this download link for the zip file of the Flutter SDK. Just go and click it. And after clicking it, the zip file for your Flutter SDK will now start downloading. Just wait for it to finish. And once it's finished, you can now open your file explorer. And then go to the location where the zip file is downloaded. Most of the time, you can find it at the downloads directory. And once you've found the zip file, next, we will now extract this. So to do that, just right click the file, and then select this extract all option right here. And then you can now click the extract button. And after that, the extraction process will now start, just wait for it to finish. And once it's finished, your zip file will now be back as a normal folder. So just move this file to your C drive just like what I will do. And then that's it guys, you have now downloaded your Flutter SDK, so we will now proceed to the next step. So for the next step, we're going to set the path of the Flutter SDK folder. This is important because it tells your computer where Flutter is located. If you skip this step, your computer won't know what Flutter is, even though you've already downloaded it. So let's go ahead and add Flutter to our system path. So to do that, first, I want you to open the Flutter folder. And then go to the bin folder right here. And then I want you to click this at the top. And after that, you can now copy the path. And once you've copied the path, next, I want you to search for environment variables on your Windows search bar. And then open it. And then here, I want you to click environment variable. And once you've opened the environment variables, next, I want you to click this path option right here. And then click new. And after that, you can now paste the link that you've copied earlier. And after pasting, you can now click the OK button again and again in order to save your changes. And then that's it guys, your computer will now recognize your Flutter, but I will show you how to verify it in order to be sure. So for that, just go to your command prompt. And once you're on the command prompt, just type in Flutter. And after that, your computer will now search for your Flutter, just wait for it to finish. 
And once it's finished, and your command prompt showed you this, congrats, that means your flutter is successfully set up, and your computer can now recognize it. So now that you've successfully set up the path of your flutter, now I will show you how you can install or add it to your Visual Studio Code IDE. So to do that, first, I want you to open your VS Code. And once you've opened it, next, I want you to go to the Extensions tab right here. And then search for Flutter. And after searching, you will now see the Flutter extension, so you can now install it. And after that, your Flutter will now be added to your VS Code. And by the way guys, you will also need to install the Dart language because this is the programming language the Flutter uses, but in my case, I have already installed it so I won't need to do it again. So now that you've installed the Flutter extension to your VS Code, next, let's now confirm if it's recognized or installed successfully. So for that, I want you to click the view. And then select Terminal. And here on Terminal, I want you to search for Flutter Double Dash version. And after searching it, and your terminal showed you your current Flutter version just like this, congratulations, that means you have now installed and set up your Flutter on Visual Studio Code successfully, so you can now use it to start building your dream app easily. And so that's just how you do it guys, now that you've watched this video you can now do it yourself. So that concludes our tutorial video for today, I hope it helped you, thanks for watching, goodbye.